If you are new to Affinity Photo, which is like a Photoshop type software for Mac and PC, but actually lighter weight and a little bit faster than Photoshop, then um, you have a feature here called plugins. Now, just like Photoshop plugins, you can integrate plugins, other software with Affinity Photo. And by default, this is empty. And every time Photoshop is updated, uh, the plugins for Photoshop go into a new folder because Photoshop is in a new folder. So I want to show you how you can add your Photoshop plugins, and not all of them, but how you can add your Photoshop plugins to Affinity Photo. So you go to Affinity Photo and Preferences on Mac. I'm not sure where it is on PC, but you can find it. And then over here, plug in search folder, just hit add. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to applications. Now this is on a Mac, Adobe Photoshop uh, CC 2017, and then plugins. And you can hit OK. And basically, I'm just going to add all of the plugins here. And it's all going to say unknown or working. And you're going to check allow unknown. That's going to allow Affinity Photo to use any plugin that's in the plugins folder. Now, if there are others outside of that, for example, uh, let's say on one um, has theirs and it's actually, um, you know, in a different, uh, a different folder. So like, let's say it's, it's within their folder instead of um, it actually being like, for example, these are the plugin files, I'm going to add it. And then they'll actually be here as well. So I'm going to hit close, I'm going to restart. And now when I restart, I'm going to um, you'll see that on one should be here as well um, if it's supported. Now it's not supported, but uh, you'll see that there are others that are. Now again, this won't work with every single plugin that you have for Photoshop. It will work with um, ones that are just compatible with really anything, sort of like a, a, a Mac OS share extension. That's pretty much what it is. So right now the on one um, photo raw software is not um, compatible with just anything. So I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try um, the older on one software, which is actually um, on one photo 10. And I'm going to try plugin files and let's see if that works. So I'm going to close and I'm going to restart. Okay, here I am back and let's see if this works with on one, the older one. Nope. So it still doesn't. Not a big deal. You know, this it's it sort of hit or miss, but the cool part is certain software will load. Okay. So if you have a plugin, you want to see if it works inside of Affinity Photo, that is how you do it. So now from here, I could go ahead and I can open a photo and then I can uh, do some edits inside of Affinity Photo. And then I could bring it into Perfectly Clear. I can bring it into um, to Luminar or Aurora HDR 17 or any of the Nick softwares or Topaz, whatever I want to do, I can bring it into anywhere. Really neat. Uh, Affinity Photo is a lot of fun. It's very affordable, way more affordable than Photoshop. Um, and it's, it's fast and it's similar. So if you're used to Photoshop, your experience is going to be very similar.